and welcome back to an episode of Fake Till You Make It, where I pretend to know something about baking, and then we eat whatever comes out of the oven, no matter what it looks like. High five! <laughs> Today's experiment is going to be a rainbow layered birthday cake for Miss Piper, because what's happening tomorrow? Her birthday! So we're gonna make a rainbow cake because she's having a painting party, so here we go. When I was looking up what to do for Piper's birthday party, I saw some fun rainbow cakes, but um, the one that I saw was just a box cake, and I thought that's even better. I don't know exactly what the difference is between like a whole egg recipe and egg whites recipe. Instead of doing the eight large egg whites, I'm gonna be doing. I think I'm just gonna do the whole egg. What? You didn't say about uh, Piper's hair is so good. You didn't say that on a video. Oh, Piper's hair is so good today. And that's it. That's it. And the recipe that I found online, it's just a four layer cake, but I want to do six layers. Still trying to decide if I should do six layers on a rainbow cake just is more fun, right? Okay, so I'm gonna try and do like about a cup and a third in each bowl so that we know they're all the same. And now we have to put the dye in, which is gonna be the fun part. second three are in the fridge, but I'll do those when these three get out. I really hope these turn out good. My thumb's all purple. <laughs> I was really worried about um, the timing with these cakes because they're really, really thin and I didn't want them to burn, obviously, but they only took 15 minutes to bake and they are perfect, so that's good. Now, while these are baking, I'm gonna make the frosting. Hobby Lobby. They are Sunny Side Up Bakery Squeeze Gel Color. And I'm in love with them. I don't know what it was this time, but for once my cakes actually came out of my pans and didn't tear didn't rip anything underneath. They just slid right out. I think it was because I sprayed the crap out of my pans with my pan cooking spray. And I also let them cool completely before I took them out. So I don't know if that's a thing. Again, I don't know a lot about baking at all. But this time it worked. So now I'm gonna stick them on my cake platter and layer them up in order. And then I'm gonna do a crumb icing around it and then I'm gonna let it put in the fridge for the night. So let's do this. It's actually not that bad. I could probably just frost it right now and call it good. Do it. Do that. <laughs> Zach knows I always get super stressed out with these birthdays. take the four off, like a piece of paper or something, so that the four is showing through like the negative space compared to the sprinkles. So we're gonna try and figure that out. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm just gonna lay it on there. Let's see. Oh, let's just come right off, okay. That's really hard. 
How do they do this on Pinterest? That would work. Yeah, that's a little, that, that works a little bit better, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it took a little bit of coaxing, but we finally got these sprinkles to stick. What we ended up doing was I just grabbed like a piece of paper and I would kind of like make a little wall and then just like sprinkle some sprinkles on and then tap them down before they could get away. And they would stick in the frosting pretty good, but then obviously like a lot of them fell down. Maybe something that would help this is having a very, very level cake so the sprinkles just like stay where you put them, but I don't know. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna mess with this part a little bit because it is a little bit clumpy right through here. But overall, I think it's really cute. So yeah, we're gonna put this in the fridge overnight and we will eat it tomorrow.